Well, g'day, Amber. Welcome to the show. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Pete. It's, uh, it's a privilege oh, and a pleasure. Thank you. Um, now, the first question I usually ask is just where are you, just so we can have a location idea of yes. what part of the world you're in. Yes, so I'm in Brisbane, Bris Vegas. Yep. I'm a Bris Vegas girl through and through, and uh, I am currently in my beautiful home office. This is my sanctuary. Right. This is where I build my super hot business empire from. Yeah, I've, it actually looks very familiar because I'm pointing at the screen, but I can see behind you all the little post-it notes. I've seen that photo on Facebook. Yes, that's my values wall. Okay. That's uh, that's all the words that remind me of, of my energy, my essence, and uh, what needs to always shine through in my marketing and my mentoring. Oh, very nice. Okay, I was kind of wondering what it was, but now I know. Um, now, first off, I just want to find out a bit about what you're actually working on at the moment. What's your latest project that you're, you're working on? Yeah, okay. So my latest project at the moment is my next Ladies' Day in event. So um, every month or every six weeks, I do a two-hour webinar show, if you like to call it, mm -hmm. um, for my community. It's a free event. Okay. And I typically deliver specific content that my market has told me they want uh, to know more about. And it's a lead generation exercise for me. So every six weeks, we aim to generate between 200 and 300 new leads mm -hmm. um, for the business and deliver some fantastic content and then um, funnel those leads into my business, basically. And the next Ladies' Day in event is on the, uh, I think it's the 9th of, May. So we are actually in pre, pre, pre launch okay. at the moment. Yeah. Uh, next week we'll be in pre launch and then we'll be launching it officially on Facebook. There'll be a three week lead into the event, yeah. um, which will also um, act as a pre launch into the webinar. So what I want to do is I want to maximize the number of people that join me on the webinar. And what I'll be doing for the first time is actually selling my um, entry level mentoring program from the webinar. Wow. Yeah, that so massive, massive, massive task. Um, I have Danica that's with me, uh, works full-time with me. We will both put in at least 40 hours into this lead generation campaign. Mm. So um, quite significant, but we it works very well for our business. So that's the current project that I'm on at the moment. Okay. So um, how did you get started down that road? We're, let's go way back, like... Just after you were, were you working in a job or whatever? Way back. Way back. Yeah. How did you start this whole entrepreneurial thing? Um, like you, I was born an entrepreneur uh, or I had uh, uh, sniffings of being an entrepreneur. I used to walk the streets with my best girlfriend. I would have been uh, eight and we used to knock on doors and um, offer to clean cars for $5. Yeah. So every Sunday afternoon, we'd go and we'd probably make about 30 bucks between us and, and uh, generate some cash. But I, um, I come from a corporate background, um, heav heavily marketing background. I got into marketing in the year 19, 1999. Mm -hmm. um, in 2000, I had the privilege of being um, mentored and working for one of Australia's very first entrepreneurial women. Uh, it was just her and I. Yes, was she that? was the director of the business. Her name's Gail Geronimus. Mm -hmm. Um, she does a little bit of work with Andrew and Daryl Grant at the moment. But um, she taught um, small to medium-sized enterprises how to create strategic business plans to raise capital to grow their business. So within 12 months, um, I learned how to write strategic business plans. I learned how to mentor SMEs. And um, I actually learned how to market the business. So she took me under her wing and taught me everything she knew. Mm -hmm. um, and then I proceeded to, uh, I wanted to work in athlete management, I was very passionate about sport and uh, she taught me that I could do whatever I wanted, so I did. I moved to Sydney and uh, lived off my credit card for 12 months and studied uh, an advanced diploma in sports management and approached the business that I wanted to work for and told him that I would work for him, whether he liked it or not, <laughs> and uh, worked for him for free for six months until he finally gave me a job and um, then... Um, assisted in managing some of the country's most successful Olympians, wow. uh, which was just amazing. Loved it. Loved it. So essentially, I was marketing people as opposed to products. Okay. And uh, got out of that for the money. 
so um, knew that I had a lot more to offer the role that I had and, and they just didn't have a position for me and I wasn't patient enough to stick around. So I worked for companies such as Adidas, um, worked for Lion Nathan for five years, worked for Perno Ricard, so worked in the liquor industry for a long time um, and all in marketing and sales roles and then decided uh, – I was working for Lion Nathan, had a wonderful job. I was actually working on the Heineken brand and mm. I was probably earning about oh, at least $150,000 a year. I was probably working two and a half days a week. Um, you know, business, you know, company car, phones, events, all that sort of stuff and was just miserable, just hated yeah. it. And uh, what I didn't know then that I know now is that I was just unemployable. It didn't matter what I was doing. Um, I just didn't want to be working for somebody else I hated the 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 chains that I had around me when I was working for somebody else so I left and um, started a coaching business fell pregnant by surprise eight days later and um, I was life coaching at the time and oh I hated that as well as just that was just too painful for me so um, I decided just to take seven months off and um, enjoy being pregnant and, and had my daughter and within three months when she was three months old started working for uh, consulting to one of my colleagues and um, the, rest is, the rest is history. I decided to invest $25,000 in, in a business mentor um, who earns a million dollars a month and just thought, I fucking want to know what she knows. <laughs> yep. So um, she taught me a lot and uh, here I am, 16 months later, I think. Wow. Yeah. 16 months. All that was in 16 months. Incredible. 16 months, yeah. Okay, so... Now, you've learnt off that mentor, that, uh, you know, million dollar a month mentor, which is, must have learned some great things. Um, what business did you start up after you learnt that stuff? Uh, this, this business that I have now, so marketing mentoring. Okay, marketing so, mentoring. Could you go into a bit of detail about, say, who you work with and the results that they, they get from working yes. with you? Yes. Yeah. Yep, so I work with women who uh, want to build a super hot business empire. They don't just want to build a business. Mm -hmm. um, they're good at what they do. They are all about making a difference in the world. They want to facilitate massive transformation in their clients. They could be uh, facilitators, coaches, trainers, mentors, um, consultants, and their transformation occurs, can be physically, whether they're a personal trainer or if it's mentally, spiritually, or um, most often they're not business um, related. Um, these women, um, have got big vision, big dreams for themselves, but they're also mums and, and, and wives and, you know, best friends and they've got other stuff going on in their lives as well. And like I said, they're good at what they do, but they don't know how to get the whole world knowing about what they do and not just knowing about it but loving their stuff. So what I teach is very simple um, basic strategies that get these women exponentially bigger results for the time and the money and the energy that they're pouring into their businesses. Um, it's about stripping back all of the fluffy bullshit that is around at the moment. And look, some of it's really good stuff, but it takes a lot of money and a lot of time to execute in their business that these women just don't have that time and money just yet. So I bring them back down to basics. I help them create a very strong um, strategic plan. I help them design their empire from the ground level up mm -hmm. and get them achieving some phenomenal results, putting some money in the bank so they can reinvest it into their business and then start taking it to another level. Okay, can we uh, just want to backtrack just a little bit. Um, something that was sort of caught my attention was hey, saying some of these simple, very simple, strong strategies. Could you tell us a bit of the, the fluffy stuff that you're talking about that will mm -hmm. sort of help define what some of those strong strategies are? So the fluffy stuff um, is, it, it's, it's the stuff that's out in the marketplace at the moment. And what really, can I tell you what really pisses me off? Absolutely, yes. Yeah? <laughs> so um, what I can't stand is when there is uh, experts out there. And, you know, the, the beautiful thing is in this world at the moment, we have got so many people that are so good at what they do. And they've got all of this wonderful knowledge that I know my girls need. Yeah? yeah. They need this stuff. But what I hate is when social media experts or PR experts or publicity or video guys or whatever it is take people's money, take business owners' money from them when the business owner doesn't have a fucking strategy, when they don't understand exactly 
how they're going to bring their business to life. So the, the fluffy, fancy stuff is, you know, oh, I want a really beautiful Facebook page, yeah? And I want beautiful pictures and videos and all that sort of stuff. And then you say, okay, so what's your goal in your business? What are you trying to achieve? Oh, I want to make $250,000 a year. Okay, that's fantastic. How are you going to go about doing that? Um, I'm just going to get lots of people to like my page and I'm going to send them an email with my products and they're going to buy the stuff. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's not a strategy. That's an idea. That's a concept. Um, it's not a strategy. It's not based on, on research. It's not based on trial and error. Um, and a lot of the time also what I find with my business owners is that they love what they do, but their business isn't aligned with them. So they actually start getting some really great results, but they fucking hate it, Pete. They're mm. just like, this isn't what I want to do. Why am I doing this? Or they're not going about it the way that they want to in a way that's, you know, where they're being the best version of themselves they can be. You know, they could be earning 20 grand a month, but they're being absolute cow to their children. Mm -hmm. and aren't giving their, their husbands any love and aren't seeing any of their best friends or taking care of themselves. Um, so find themselves in this, this great moving beast but aren't actually, um, you know, really getting refueled. Mm -hmm. Their heart's not being filled with what they do. So when I talk about the fluffy, hypey stuff, I'm talking about there's all of these things out in the, in the wide marketplace at the moment that, can, that is really good. It can really help your business. But if you don't have a strategy first and a business that is aligned with you so that when it gets over that tipping point and starts making lots of money, you still love what you do and you're still aligned with it. Yeah? Okay. And that you can help you can help it grow exponentially without having to put this exponential energy into it. Hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, so yeah, it does. Like, um, could you clarify, also talk a little bit about what would be a strategy versus, you know, like hmm. the... The way mm -hmm. I kind of view what you've just said then is all that stuff is kind of like techniques, things yes. you can do. Could you yes. sort of give a bit of a definition to strategy that someone could take away right now and go, ah, I get it, and that's something yes. that I can apply right now, even yes. on this little level? Yes. One of my the, the most valuable strategies that I facilitate um, with my clients is values. So you can see my, my values wall behind me. Mm -hmm. um, this is about um, getting, it, it's a bit of a mix between business coach and life coaching. What is this value strategy? It's all about helping the business owner uncover what they need to experience or, and feel every day in order to feel like they're living an exceptional life. Yes? Mm. So we all have values, inbuilt values within us, but a lot of us aren't consciously aware of what these values are, you know, what these feelings, the experiences are that, that fill our hearts every day that allow us to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. And you know, Pete, when you're, when you're in flow, yeah, when, when you're really experiencing everything you've ever wanted in life, the results that you have, you know, you, you just told me a story. The results that you start having, that kind of, it's just like, fuck, this stuff is, this is awesome. Yeah. yeah? This is where I want to be. And that's where I, I bring my clients. It's the first place we start is values. It's like, tell me, what do you need to experience every day to feel like you're living an exceptional life? And we uncover that those values within them, those unconscious values. And what we actually do is we actually build a business and a marketing message and product packaging around our values. Mm -hmm. Because you see, when we're consciously aware of our values and we are being our values every day, we start to experience a whole, we experience life at a whole different level. And what also happens is that other people in the world that want to be the values that we're being want to connect with us so much quicker they're like i want that i want i want her i want what she's got mm. yeah um so we start to attract clients and customers that are just like us well that reminds yes. me of how you said you connected with that that person who's like on a million dollars a month ago i want to i want that i want to be able to be able to do that so it's very very much what you said that's kind of how you started as well yes which is and interesting. it's and it's forever changing right because we develop the, the more the more we learn yes the more we, we start to transform in our lives. So therefore, our values start to change as well. And this is the key 
for me, my business is about to go to a whole nother level. Mm-hmm. Over the next eight weeks, my business will go to a whole nother level. And it's because I revisited my values. I revisited them uh, two weeks ago. So the values that I had in August last year are completely different to the values that I have now. Mm-hmm. Now, they have similar meanings, but different words. So, for example... My uh, most um, in value, valuable value last August was courage. Now it's spirit. Hmm. Spirit is, is what, my, what I'm all about. The spirit is who I want to be and who I want to be perceived as, who I want to attract into my tribe. And spirit and freedom. When you go to my business page, I want for women to go there and experience freedom and spirit and vitality. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And, and verve that's what it's all about and this it's such it this is what i mean it's so simple it is so simple it costs you no money yeah there's no there's no cost in execution it's time in getting in touch with what makes you exceptional what makes you feel exceptional and what makes you be exceptional so that you can um translate all of that into the strategies in your business into your marketing message into your products your events um, your ex- the, the experience that you give your clients, you know, they walk away thinking, I don't know what just happened, but that was fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Just simple, no cost, low cost strategies that give us the biggest amount of leverage than any fucking Facebook, beautiful looking Facebook page could ever give you. Mm. Yeah? yeah um, that's awesome. My clients, uh, one of my clients in particular, um, started working with me one-on-one. Very successful lady on target to earn 250000 before I started working with her, um, selling her time for money. In the third month of working with me, she sold $60,000 worth of a mentoring program that didn't even exist, wasn't even in her head three months before that. Mm. So it, she, she, had, she already had a great successful business. She just needed to tweak it and to learn some simple strategies that could pull the assets that she already had in her business, package them up into a way that her market wanted them and, and, and sell them and deliver it in a way that she was comfortable with. So it's, it's cool stuff. Yeah. I just, I just love it. I I can tell. I love it. So I think I'm feeling that, that thing you're talking about right now, just hearing you talk about it. It's awesome. All right. So, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly just cross over to Facebook over to the awesomepreneurs group which we are both a part of. Yeah. And uh, I just posted in there just um, a question just to say, you know, if anyone's got any questions for you. And some people responded. I'm just going to quickly... So uh, there's a quick one here. Uh, who's <laughs> This one's a bit of a sneaky one. Who's your favorite video marketing coach? <laughs> hmm. I wonder who that could be. That might be the gentleman I'm having breakfast with tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, Paul, Paul Holland. Holland. Yeah. Absolute freaking legend. I send all of my clients to Paul. It, yeah. Yeah. He's awesome. Love him. Okay. Um, another one is, oh, this is, I don't know how serious this one is. Uh, someone wants to do, start up a naked men's business. Yes, I saw thing. that yesterday. That was, uh, John Halls. Yes, John. I think that's a great idea. Um, it, my model works. It's a really, really wonderful model for women. I don't know that dancing around half naked on a video a man dancing around half naked on a video would really attract many men into his business, but yeah. you never know what kind of men he's after. <laughs> yeah, um, I've seen that video too. I think it's a too. great idea. I'm going to put that video, I'm going to put a link to your, your video uh, on the page okay. too when I post this live. Um, yes. Another question, this one's from Tiffany Baker. Um, she says, I'd love to know Amber's number one secret on how to start building your list for those who are just starting out. Uh, what's the best place to start? She's got a bit more there, so we'll go into that. So, yeah, how would you go about starting to build your list? Okay. Um, the way that, I, that I've done it myself is, first of all, when I started, I had nothing. I went and interviewed my ideal perfect clients. Um, if you're a customer base, then your ideal perfect customer. Go and find 10 people that you would love to have as your ideal perfect customers or clients and ask them some really powerful questions around, you know, what, what frustrates them, what are their fears, what keeps them awake at night. Um, you know, if you had a magic wand and you could grant any wish that you wanted, what would that wish be and what would that get for them in their lives? Mm-hmm. 
you know, learn more about what it is that they want and how they want to consume it. And then I spent a good six months. I had the privilege of not having to earn money for the first six months. So I spent six months just delivering massive amount of value. I, I think I delivered about $100,000 worth of mentoring and content in six months just to build my community. Now, mm-hmm. not everybody has that privilege. So what I would certainly encourage now looking back is get out some great content. Be very consistent with delivering high-value content that is the what and the why behind what it is that you teach. Giving them a touch of the how. Let them experience what it's like to be successful at implementing your stuff. Okay. Always, always ask for their phone number when you're generating leads. So ask yourself this question. What question do they need answered before they come looking for your solution? Whatever the answer to that question is, is your opt-in. Create a super hot opt-in. Get it in. Ask for phone numbers. Ring these people when they opt-in. Ask them more about what they want. Put together packages, programs, products that they want and then sell it to them. Okay, just want to hold you on for a sec. Guys, if you're listening to this, just go write down what Amber just said about uh, that opt-in. So Yes, so ask, ask what question do they need answered before they come looking for your solution? Mm-hmm. That will help you uncover exactly what you want to be giving away in exchange for their name, email address, and phone number. But before that, just deliver content, deliver content, lots of blogs, lots of video. Don't do anything without video. Mm -hmm. All of your content, blog-based, PDF-based, whatever, needs to be supported by video. So important. That's excellent. That's just a phenomenal tip right there. Um, Now, I'm just going to go back to that page and finish off the rest of the question. so a lot of my clients are starting out online at zero and I would love to be able to pass on Amber's experience. Oh no, she's just giving a bit of a kudos. Mm-hmm. Um, thanks, Pete. Great work. Love it. So yeah, go visit Tiffany Baker, Facebook, The Business Kitty. That's who just asked that question. I always find people who ask great questions, yeah, they, they've kind of got good insights. So go visit them. Yes, yeah, so I, I know Tiffany. I've checked out her, her um, site. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you know Nicola Morris? She wrote, can't wait to hear uh, it. Nicola awesome. Morass. She's Nicola one of my Morass. private clients. Okay, because you can't wait to hear it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, yeah, you're doing good yes. stuff out there. Um, all right, we'll jump back from the awesomepreneurs. And I'll just put you up here. Where are you? Okay, so... Well, you've... you've so this is the great thing about talking to people who, who know what they're on about. Most of the stuff I was going to ask you, you've already kind of covered. So um, oh, good. do you want to talk a little bit? Do you actually have a system in place? You know, like there's the, the whiz bang, super duper seven step formula things or blueprints. Or, have you got something? Have you got a name for it? And do you want to share that with us right now? Is that something yes. you could do? Yes, I do. It's, um, it's called the uh, super hot business empire building blueprint. Um, this is my system, the marketing system that I use um, in my business and the system that I um, teach my clients. It's uh, step by step. It's, it's, um, I, I created the way that I, um, it's a visual model. And why don't I just draw it for you very, very quickly. In nature, you know, bees, when they, when they build their, their, um, their hives, they build their their hives with hexagons right Mm -hmm. like this shape yep um because that is the most efficient shape in the world it actually produces it delivers the greatest amount of output for a minimum amount of um energy uh Mm. or, or um equipment so basically they build great big hives with very minimal um materials so that's what my system is based around and this system starts the very, very first place that we start is where I talk to you about is values. Mm-hmm. It's getting to know where you know, the destination that you want to go, your ideal perfect day, and what's what's most important to you. What are, what are your numbers? Yes. Mm-hmm. What are your numbers? But how do you? Who do you want to be? Getting those numbers. Now, this is the f- one thing that I learned from my from my first mentor. Wonderful, amazing lady, freak, freak of nature, million dollars a month. 
wonderful lady. However, she doesn't. She builds her business in a way that I don't want to, and it's not. It's not ethical, or it's not that she's unethical or wrong because she's not. It's just she doesn't have a family. She's just married mm. to her husband. They're both multimillionaires. They just work day in day out, and they love it. Mm. You know, they love it. She's happy, and that's awesome. But that's not how I want to build my business. So it's really important that at the beginning we get clear on. This is a question we don't typically um, ask ourselves: is how do I want to go about building this sort of business? Um, the next step in my program is all around identity. So identity for your business. So that's around personal branding. It's around um, your values. It's about uh, writing your legacy, about writing your eulogy. So when you leave this planet, what gift have you left the world? Let's, let's look at that. Let's look that far ahead and let's build that into our strategies, into our business. Um, the third step is then all about getting to know your avatar, getting to know them better than they know themselves, being able to um, uh, talk their lang- talk their pain and their desires better than they be- being able to articulate their problems and their desires better than they know themselves. Mm. Um, then it's all about building products and models and. Um, a marketing message. So what I call is a massive transformational message, a message, a message that literally stops your, your prospects in their tracks. Because uh, as humans, we walk around like um, mummy, uh, not mummies, what is it? Like zombies, zombies. right? Yeah. We, are, we walk around the world going, you know, next day, next day, next step, what do I have to do next? Instead of, you know, breaking our state and getting us to step outside of ourselves and our lives and, 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 Take, get, grab their attention and keep it and then educate them and engage them on where they need to go. Um, then it's all about sales, baby. Crucial element, crucial, crucial element of my business is teaching women how to sell mm-hmm. and, and how to sell having an absolute fucking ball doing it. And that's what myself and my clients are doing right now. We love what we do mm. and um, we're making a good amount of money doing it, nice. I must say. Yes. So, so that's, that's my system. It's the, the system. business building, empire building blueprint. Yep. Awesome. Sounds good. Um, so what's your favorite, favorite thing about what you do on a daily basis? What's your, you probably read it off the wall there. Yes, probably. Yeah. So my, my top three values are freedom, um, vitality, and what's my third one? See, that's why I've got it on the wall. Um, freedom, vitality, and abundance. Mm-hmm. That's that's my my top three values. Um, I love that I can create whatever the fuck I want to create inside my business. And excuse my language, you might have to beep it out, but that's me, <laughs> no, right? No, I, these interviews go unedited, raw, uh, as they Excellent. happened. Like I, it. I top and tail um, them, and they're on. I love. I just love being able to be me. Mm. I love being able to be me, and I love to be able to connect with other women and facilitate massive transformation in their lives being me because Mm. they love it they love that i'm who i am that's who they connect with and they they you know aspire to 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 be do and have the things that i have in my life and i'm able to gift them with that and to show them the the beautiful value um that they that they have the essence the energy within them is exactly all they really needed to be able to take their business to the next level and being able to show them that and then finding it discovering it with me that's that's what I love. I love being creative and I love just having freedom to do to do whatever I want to do. That's brilliant. Now, before we go and send people to your links to go and get in contact with you and get onto your programs and all that good stuff, uh, Paul made it aware to me that we are both fans of Seth Godin. Oh, Is that yes. true? Love Seth. What do you, love can you him. tell me, just love tell him. me, love just, this is just like, a, sorry, just everyone just sort of stop this. This is a private little conversation now. Let's talk about Seth. What is it that you like about Seth and his work? Oh, what do you get from it? I just love how he exposes humans in a whole, at a, in like, better than we could ever understand ourselves. And his writing is just amazing. It is so simple. And it's like a big punch in the face sometimes. You know, you'll just read a paragraph or even a sentence and it'll be like, of course, yes, Mm. of course that makes sense. But the way that he articulates it 
is just amazing. And he brings, um, I guess, he really brings brings us, builds our awareness into, you know, things about ourselves that we, we don't stop long enough to really understand, mm -hmm. but not just understand, but then to be able to um, apply it in our lives to get results. And the fact that he he's so driven and motivated by doing this to the status quo, mm. yeah, to, to, you know, creating change and leading change and, and just you know being free to to do whatever you want to do because that's actually going to that's actually what is going to change the world that's that's what i love about seth i love his writing he's just if, if i could write like seth I, I would pay millions of dollars if someone could teach me how to write like seth tomorrow i really would yeah. he's just he's a very clever man so how have you applied some of his teachings? Because I know this interview series and a lot of the things that go behind doing these interviews, I've taken from, say, Tribes, um, Permission Marketing, uh, Idea Virus, and trying to incorporate those ideas into what I do so that people will want to go and share this material with others and, you know, yep. because it's valuable and it adds value to their community by doing so. Yep. So how have you incorporated some of those things into your business, into oh. the, the blueprint? Hang on a tick. So, Tribes, mm -hmm. um, what I've done with Tribes, when I read that, I was just in love. I just wanted to marry this man. Um, so what I did was, and this is what I do with a lot of stuff that I read, is um, you can probably see I've got lots of highlighting and note-taking and yep. just folded pages. I can so, still hear you. I'm just going to step off screen for a sec. There you go. Keep going. What I like to do is in, with this particular um, – uh, book and also with some help from Frank Kern, um, a part of my business building blueprint is all about building a tribe, um, building you know a um, a devoted group of fans that love you and rave about you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Folded and same sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, snap. Um, <laughs> Shazam. And what I've done was um, I took the key learnings from this book and I turned it into a model. I turned it into an online tribe building model. And I taught it just recently. So when we talked about Ladies' Day in event that I do every six weeks, the last event I did was how to build an online tribe of, of raving fans. Um, and what I did was I, I um, turned the learnings of Seth into a model, um, combining that with my own skills and experiences and, of course, what I've been taught from other people and taught that to my tribe. So I broke it down into four, four key elements of building a tribe and then broke that down into the steps, so exactly what they needed to do in order to bring that online tribe, you know, to life. Could you so quickly? That's what I do. Because we're running out of time, but so could you quickly just run over those steps, the four steps, just yeah, like yeah. say what they are. So, you don't have to go into too much detail. Yes. Um, so the four key elements of building a tribe. Number one is about having an idea. Yes, a remarkable idea about you're going. You're on a mission. Yes, you've got a particular cause that you want to lead. And it needs to be something that is bigger than yourself and something that um, is most important to you. You know, it'll be an extension of your values. It'll mm -hmm. lie time with that. The second thing is um, having a story. Is the, ne the next thing is about, no, the next thing, the next key element is leadership. Yeah, you've mm -hmm. got to, there's certain, and this is what Seth's great at is, there's all of these leadership models in the world and, you know, all the sort of stuff that you need to be to be a leader. Well, the key stuff that, that Seth goes through in this book is just awesome and elements of, you know, having the fear and facing the fear anyway and wanting to step away from the status quo, about being curious about your market, um, about being able to read your tribe and be able to see the fear in them and being able to manage that fear when you need to. Um, key elements of being a leader. And I do the model, so if you think you know, as a round circle, the middle part is your cause, yes? Mm -hmm. On the outside of that is leadership, really, really key. On the outskirts, so the, the, um, the surface level of your tribe is your story. 
that's how you attract and I you know it's really bad but I use the analogy of you know the egg and the sperm mm -hmm. you know the sperm like swims around trying to find the egg well think of this on the outskirts is the story and the sperm is your market right yep. and the only way that they can get in to your tribe is through your story that's how you attract them and that's how they need to pass through that element to get into your tribe so you need to have this really powerful engaging a transparent story that gets them into your tribe and gets them following you so that they can help um, create this change that you're leading yeah the fourth key element of building an online tribe is uh, it's like this thing that, that the ball sits on and, and it's tools it's leverageable tools mm -hmm. so it's about te using technology it's about using stat the status quo and it's about um, uh, micro leaders it's about leveraging the micro leaders within your tribe giving them the power and the influence and the inspiration to be able to then build many tribes within your tribe mm -hmm. so that there's still an, a massive amount of authority within that big tribe as it gets bigger. Yeah. So that's a bit of a snapshot I of love my uh, online tribe building model. That's just brilliant. Now, how can people cut through your story and become part of your tribe? What, and where get can into we send my them? little tribe. Where can we send them? <laughs> where can we send them? <laughs> That's really bad. My husband would be devastated with that sort of description. Um, so um, they can come and find me at Naked Women's Business on Facebook um, or they can jump inside Amber McLean. So www.amber, A-M-B-E-R, McLean, M-C-L-E-A-N, dot com, dot A-U. And uh, there's a plethora of content that they can rape and pillage to uh, help build their super hot business empires. And there's also a few little surprises in that site too where they can opt in um, mm -hmm. and receive a beautiful little uh, welcome to the welcome to the community share the love call for my beautiful Danica and also an opportunity potentially if I have any options uh, sorry appointments available to spend 30 minutes with me where I can get inside their business and identify the gaps in their business and what they need to fill to start getting exponentially bigger results so yeah excellent excellent so these just to let you know guys these links are going to be just under here um, just under this video that you're watching wherever you happen to be watching it um, it'll be yeah click on them go to see Amber's stuff um, yeah, had a great time Amber um, so glad to have you on the show thank and, you uh, it's been, thanks for yeah, having me just been awesome yeah love it love All being right. a superstar <laughs> in my own in my own in my own bedroom yeah there you go alright Amber <laughs> thank thanks so much you. and uh, I definitely want to get you back on the show at some point is that a deal hell yeah excellent see you Bye. later have a good one <laughs>